Hi, this is Bob Perez, head coach, Four Ounce Fight Club, coach Houston Muay Thai. I'm Derek Lewis's head fight coach. We're here at Lundell Mixed Martial Arts in Vegas making final preparations for uh, Derek Lewis's fight against uh, Roy Big Country Nelson on UFC Fight Night Thursday night. Derek's a, a natural fighter and natural puncher, obviously. He's, he was born with heavy hands. He and I are very close, and I know him. I know how much to push, how much uh, I, can, I can expect from him, and I, I never try to, to, to break him or give him too much to work on at a time. So we're taking baby steps steps in this progression or in his evolution, but I'm extremely happy with his progress and, and where he's grown as, as a fighter. As much as we, we have to work on technically from the, from the ground up, we have to work on a lot of things. I think that overall, just who he is as a complete athlete is probably what you're looking at in regards to maybe being the next generation of the heavyweight fighter or the evolution of the heavyweight um, you know, MMA guy or UFC guy. Uh, it, it's so funny, Derek, you know, People look at him and think, oh, he, he doesn't have gas. If you saw our mid-session, which I, I know you saw our mid-session, generally I'll hold five five-minute rounds for him at that pace. Uh, that being said, he's not really breathing hard at the end of the 25-minute session. He has cardio for days. Um, he moves slowly. Uh, because he's conserving, kind of like an alligator or a crocodile. You know, they're, they're just going to move kind of lethargically and slowly, but when they go, they go. And that's what we try to do with Derek. We try to conserve that energy. And when he blasts, man, you better, you better be ready because something's going to hurt you. So, you know, all those things, you know, being said, he is, I, I think, the future of, of the division. It is, And I don't mean that to, to sound cocky or arrogant or anything. I believe in Derek. I, I've always believed in him. And he's starting to believe in himself. The jitters are always there, but I see him every fight getting more and more confident. You know, the only two fights that, that, that he's lost against Matt and against Sean, you know, he moved backwards. We're never going to move backwards again. I can promise you that. He's going to push forward. He's going to push the pace. He's going to dictate the, the, the octagon of the cage. And uh, he's going to do well.